Hey guys, Sci Hi here. Welcome back to the Invitational Qualifier for Phantom Crimson Vow Draft. Uh, the draft portion is now completed, and I ended up drafting this sort of black green toughness deck. Uh, I've got two ancient lumber knots. Um, <clears throat> has, of course, the backbone ability, giving creatures the ability to deal damage equal to their toughness rather than their power. Um, we did manage to get one unhallowed phalanx, and we also do have the catapult fodder to try to launch these big bodies at our opponent, try to kill them that way. Um, the deck's kind of slow. I'm not sure how strong this is going to be. We got a ripsaw, we got some value spore crawlers, draw cards. Wedding invitation is just to churn through our deck, maybe give these wedding securities unblockable ability and lifelink, try to kill our opponent that way. We're really high on the five mana drops and our removal. It's also slow sorcery speed, six mana. We do have one bleed dry, but uh, so like I said, I'm not very experienced in this format, but uh, it is the invitational qualifier or whatever. So we're going to give it a roll here. This is what I got brewing up. Uh, without further ado, we'll start the games. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like content like this. Definitely helps. On the draw, hand looks okay-ish. Guess we'll keep it. It's already ramping up. The wolves and the Voltaic Visionary. Wow, we're drawing a lot of lands. Guess I'm just gonna drop a spore crawler. Try to dig into more meaningful cards if it happens to die. Opponent's getting value off drawing cards already. And a reckless impulse. Wow. Nope, don't want to block there. Too big a toughness. It would have been nice to get some of these in my deck with this Lumber Knot ability. We already find it early. Not sure, do I even want to deploy this yet? I almost want my crawler to die to trigger the farmer. But also want to use all of our mana. Yeah, I guess I'll just play the Lumber Dot and probably hang back for now. Opponent is going to be able to cast this Pyre Spawn next turn. That's brutal. Yeah, they ramped up very well. Coming in with the charger. I mean, maybe they have a combat trick. I guess I'd be happy to trade the crawler with it at this point, but... What's the worst that could happen? They have a combat trick and I get to draw a card. Definitely don't want to get rid of our Lumber Knot, I don't think. There's the spawn. We could go Farmer, Wedding Invitation. Probably just use the most of our mana. I 
Or we get a 3-3 three, three out to try to protect further. I think I'm going to go Farmer. Uh, we'll do wedding, wedding Invitation first. To draw our cards, see what we get. Just more land. And then I guess now we'll just drop the Farmer. And probably just pass again. Kind of on our back feet here. Opponents in the driver's seat. And I mean, I guess I want to trade with that. It sucks to lose our lumber now, but it's six damage coming in. They may just have a combat trick, anyways. Can I afford to just take the six damage? Maybe. Oh, when it dies, it's going to deal three damage to any target. Ugh. Like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. I guess in a weird way, I guess I'm just going to have to take this for now. Because, I mean, this would transform. He's just going to kill it anyways. I don't know. I guess we're going to take this. Doesn't feel great, but it's a strong card, especially this early in the game. Ouch. Menace and more blood tokens. I'm going to crack some blood. And pass. Alright, there's a grizzly ritual. Um, I mean, uh, if I don't really want to just kill the spawn, it's going to end up killing my farmer. So I almost want to, like, buff the farmer with the ripsaw. So at least it's out of range from dying to a pyre spawn. Three damage. Um, it's hard to get on offense right now. So we're just kind of backpedaling. I mean, I guess I'll just play this and attempt to stabilize that way. It does have life ring. Not, don't really necessarily see attacking into this now. Feels like we're being so passive, but that's what being on the draw does, I guess. Opponents continuing to dig. All these blood tokens, probably gonna find more potent threats. Wow, they're really getting a lot of value from all of this. They've got all the mana in the world. Damn. Now they could kill our lumber knot. We've got a lot going on. We've just drawn so many lands.
Hmm, alright, well, if our opponent has a combat trick, this could be really bad, but that's 13 damage, so we, we have to block, um, I'd like to have this farmer live if possible, so, I mean, I guess at this point, it's just, well, the farmer's not gonna live. I go like that. So if I block something, um, this thing's gonna get, I can deal three damage with a farmer, so I almost maybe just want to take seven and have the farmer flip. Because I really don't want that to die right now. It sucks to take this much damage to try to gain the life back. I mean, he could deal the three to me as well, put me to ten, whatever. I'm gonna gamble like this. That's probably dumb, but. Or he could hit me and then just hit me again. He's gonna deal three damage to it. Does he have a. Oh, he's got. And he's gonna finish it off with the last right flesh. Yeah, I knew he had that too. Wow, getting, getting worked. And it's not night, so that's not gonna do anything. <clears throat> well, I guess we can use it to kill something for three damage. We can give indestructible, but we're facing lethal next turn. So we have to use this to shoot something. He attacks with everything, we're dead anyways. We can give it lifelink. Or maybe we rip saw it. So then we can give it lifelink when it's bigger. But either way, I'm I'm like I'm dead. If he has a way to do any more damage. And this can deal damage to any target. Well, whatever. Not much I can do in this spot, I don't think. A lot of draw just drew so many cards that early pyre spawn was pretty difficult to deal with. <laughs> uh, what is this? Does this just kill me? Probably. Uh, he's only going to attack with the menace guy. Can't block. So he gets to. Oh, nice. He gets to play one of my spells. Until end of turn. Well, at least I can't use it this turn. But. Oh my god, it's so much land. We're just so behind here. Well, that can just kill me outright. And I don't have enough. Well, I guess what we have to do. We can't use both of these removals, but we can give a guy lifelink, wolf strike, something. Um, we'll do that all next turn in response. I mean, been, he might try to just kill me with that. He's going to draw so many cards with this.
I have to stay back and block. But I could gain 12 life if I attack. And just do it now. I don't know. Feeling desperate. Fulcrum at Celebrants is that's almost worse than the Ballista Watcher. A 4 4 menace versus something that can just start pinging any target. myself so vulnerable but I was just trying to gain as much life as I could to survive but this curse of hospitality is gonna be crazy well that's not what you want to see either 4-2 haste that just that does it that's that's it oof got nothing one mana short well we tried okay. on to game two Hopes to go first. Oh, right. This is best of three. I forgot about that. Thought today was best of one for some reason. <laughs> Not sure if we have if there's anything I really want to change. We'll be on the play this time, I guess. Another slow hand, but I mean, I say that we have a slow deck. Is really, is really what what I should say. <laughs> but we'll try. Generally, can't do anything until turn three with this deck. But that is the visionary again. That helped kick things off for them with all that card draw. Time we'll lead with the farmer. We need to find a second black mana. That's not good. Damn. Just draws you cards. And then it becomes so large. All for two mana. This thing's better than I thought. Yeah, this is feeling exactly like last game. Don't want to trade there. It's like the same exact cards to start things off. Oh, interesting. Nice. They to exile my guy. So I don't even get the card. And I don't get the Desperate Farmer trigger. Man. And now I'm com coming in for 7 damage. Jesus. That is bad interactions. I mean, this is a bad trade. I have to just take it, I guess, for now. It's not a good trade. And once again, my life total is already in check. 
Well, I guess probably ju probably just gonna get an infestation expert out there and say go. Again, I want this to trigger. Don't want to trade it with a wolf. I want him to become his depraved harvester, not a desperate farmer. Alright, we got that 4 3 coming in. Could just chump to actually flip our desperate farmer. It's not the greatest, but my life total is already pretty low and I don't want to trade any of these things. Damn it, we need that other black mana really bad. There's that guy. I mean, I'd love to start triggering insects. Would like it to be night, but well, too late for that. I already played a spell. Yeah, attack with a depraved harvester, they just trade with a spore crawler, that's not a good trade. Can't attack with this, it's dead, so I guess we just have to lay out the squire. And say go again. Difficult position again. Um, I mean, we can't use that ability. This menace, if he has a combat trick, we're really, really screwed. Could like two for one us. But it is a lot of damage coming. I'm just going to do it like that. I mean, I need to preserve this guy. Got to block a little bit, but... Just afraid of menace. Such a strong ability. Man, there's this pyre spawn again. It's forcing it to double block something, and then you get really blown out by a combat trick. This hurts. There's a swamp, at least. Yeah, at least we can exile that. Not have to worry about the fallout from the three damage that it's going to come across. And we could do it on their turn, wait for it to be night so that we can at least flip our infested werewolf. Still have a lot of damage coming across. Come at me. Alright. No blocks. Do you want to use a combat trick? No. So, now 
I have to kill it. Now he's got his own werewolf. And he's a big one. It's a ripsaw. I mean, we gotta try to get offensive at some point. Make a 7 8, potentially get a couple insects. He could just double block. Gonna have a combat trick of their own as well. I gotta be careful on time. I'm really, I forgot this is a timed event. I'm like, I've got no time. And how good are two insects here? So you can just double block and then whatever. No, I'm not gonna sack a forest. Just wanted some more stuff on the battlefield. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. That's even better. I mean, I still would probably opt to just kill the spore crawler. It's got to die one way or another. Whatever. I'm really low on time because I've just been gingerly playing. What we need to do is hit this saw on the squire. Start rocking out indestructibility. How many creatures do we have in the graveyard? A couple. They're starting to fish for cards. Yeah, they've dug through a lot of cards already. Maybe we chump. Ah, we just take this, I think. Menacing creatures, aptly named, very menacing. Ouch, that's a massive magma pummeler. Another infestation expert. Keep up indestructibility. That's going to deal massive damage. I just can't find myself on offense right now. I don't want to discard any of these things, but at least we can giving this guy continual indestructibility I don't know, I'm going to die by time at the very least, even if I can't even if I happen to win this How am I going to win a third game if I actually did win this one? Gonna have to just start playing fast. Only have 10 minutes on the clock. Very slow play. I 
And with no blood tokens, the expert's almost better than the wedding security. At least it has the upside of becoming a 4-5 and making more insects. So I probably will pitch this if I do have to go indestructible. Taxidermist. Three, one creature away from becoming a 4-4. I think it's one more creature in the graveyard. And no attacks. At least we've deterred them from attacking for a turn. There's our Lumber Knot. What does that do? Anything? No. I guess we just have to play stuff out now. Not ready to attack yet. We've got more cards of them for the moment. But like I said, my time is really running thin. I've got to just start making game actions. Might start talking less for a little bit. Little surprised they did that. I don't
Yep, that's game. Got me with this guy. Damn, we almost started to stabilize there, but not gonna happen. Well, that's match one. Stay tuned for match two. Peace for now.